Hello everybody, I'm in Iwaki, Fukushima. This is Yumoto Onsen and I've come here for an onsen tour. This is the first of 13 onsen and I'm gonna take you on a trip around this area of Fukushima from Iwaki, which is the seaside, all the way over to Aizu Wakamatsu where I also did a, the um, Fukushima spy story in Aizu Wakamatsu with uh, the little doll, you remember that one? Well, today I'm here in Iwaki and this one is really interesting because we have a bath inside and here we have a konyoku onsen which is male and female together like co-ed right but the problem is they gave me special permission to film here so there's nobody there except for us it's kind of a disappointment but anyways you're gonna get a chance to take a look at what an onsen looks like here in japan and one that looked one here in, in iwaki which is just spectacular look at the autumn colors the trees are just turning but enough about enough about this area let's go inside I'm, I want to show you what this place looks like it's so cool this is the bath 100% pure onsen water coming from the ground pouring into the bath that area is really hot. We're gonna go in there first. <laughs> we have a couple of buckets to wash. If, wash yourself. There's a spigot as well if you want. I did that first. I've been here for about 30 minutes already. And right up there, wow, nature. I'm wearing a towel. So, yeah, at Konyoku Onsen, it's normal not to go completely naked. Maybe they did like 150 years ago when, uh, you know, guys would just prance around naked and women would, you know, really hide themselves. They'd wear, I, I guess women would, have, have, would be fully clothed. But nowadays, yeah, people wear towels around their waist at Konyoku Onsen. At least I've seen most people... There was an incident in um, Takaragawa Onsen, which is where I made a video a couple of years ago where there was this old dude, he must have been in his 80s, he was completely fucked naked, laying sprawled on a rock, and all these women and couples were passing by him. It was sort of my first sight of seeing a Konyoku Onsen in Japan. It's not the paradise that you'd think. The women that you do meet are probably in their 80s, and uh, the guys are probably mostly naked and everybody who's under uh, 40 probably is fully clothed or has a body towel or women have towels up to here. So it's not the paradise that you, you think is, oh, that feels so good. Oh yeah, you can see the momiji leaves. It's really striking on these gray rocks. This is a 100% real onsen, but it doesn't smell like rotten eggs. It doesn't have that sulfuric smell. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> that's really hot. Oh my gosh. Oh, no way. What? I think that says it's 59 degrees, which is like boiling. Well, it's pretty darn hot. It tells you the minerals in here. Natrium, the normal stuff that's from the ground. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Oh, this is a hot area. I don't think I can I can take this very long. Just just enjoy the sound for a couple of seconds while I boil. You can see the steam coming up, right? Can you see that? Oh, it's really hot. Okay, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I'm going to the lower, to the lower deck. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, my legs are starting to turn red. That was so hot. So the view behind me is, is just, it's just stunning, isn't it? This is why autumn and winter is the best season for onsen. There's no, 
I mean, summer's just too hot. Why would you get in a uh, tub of hot water when, it, when it's already hot outside? And spring, eh, you know, spring's okay too, but autumn is where it's at. Ah, oh, this is the perfect temperature back here. Yeah. All right, let's get inside here. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Okay. You feeling it? Yeah. This is a really good feeling. So I've, I've never been to this onsen before, but I've, I've lived in Iwaki before. I lived here about 18 years ago, and it's a shame that I didn't make it to this onsen, but when I first came to Japan, I'll be perfectly honest with you, I didn't know about this onsen. I was too shy to get into the bath. I was too shy to be naked with a bunch of other people. I thought it was silly. I said, why, would you, why would you go naked with a bunch of people? It doesn't make any sense to me. Boy, was I wrong. It wasn't until after I moved out of this area of Fukushima, after I went, um, gosh, it wasn't until another year before I started going into the onsen. It took me about two years before I finally went in, and oh my, was I regretting not going in. Uh, all those wasted years, right? It just feels so good, and this water, you can see, it's just crystal clear. It's all very natural water. The steam is coming out. You have the autumn leaves up there. You're sitting here naked usually. It's a good feeling. Oh, the temperature's perfect here. You can navigate between the rocks. Let's see here. All right, let's go. Let's go on the other side. You can see the, the um, right here, all of the minerals in the water have left the residue along the rocks. Can you see that? Yeah. So you know that there's minerals in this water. Uh, it's very healthy for you. It's a beautiful leaf. That's autumn right there. Gosh, that's what I'm seeing right now. Even if it's raining, you have this covered area, which is really nice. You can hear the pitter-patter of the water falling into the bath here and just completely relax in the hot water. Even when it's snowing inside, and this area gets a lot of snow, even when it's snowing, this water is like uh, 40, 42 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, Celsius, which is, um, geez, it's like 90 something, I think. So you're always gonna be pretty warm even when it's snowing. And that's what makes this uh, onsen really cool. All onsen. This, this is a ryokan. You can see between, between the roof here, people stay here and they spend the night and they leisurely come to the onsen whenever they want to take a bath. So we're gonna say goodbye to this area and go inside. And I wanna show you a little bit of the, pup, of the bath that, that's indoors. So bye bye nature, we're going in. I love that sound. Yeah, I love that sound of running water. All right, let's go inside. Normally you can wear shoes out here. There's a changing room as well out here. You just have to watch, watch that you don't hurt your feet. There are slippers, which I forgot to take. All right, you ready to go inside? All right, bye bye nature, hello. Japanese ryokan. Hagendaz machine and milk. Look at it, it's really beautiful in here. All right. So, this is the traditional Japanese ryokan. This is the experience that I think everybody's looking for when you come to Japan.
There's the men's bath. That's where I'm going right now. Very nice. And there's a musician. He's one of the people, I believe, who founded the onsen here. It's a beautiful place. Okay, let's go inside the men's bath. Uh-oh. Those aren't my shoes. I think filming is over. <laughs> but you get the picture. That's what the bath looks like. <laughs> but I can't take you over the wall. <laughs> they said it was okay to film, but obviously it's not. There's people's shoes here. That's not, those aren't my shoes. Okay. <laughs> so that bath is no good. Sorry. Oops. He's right. Um, I, should I go in the women's bath? That seems wrong. But you can see there's a sign here that explains the directions. And I like that it's both in English and in Japanese. It says grand bath, open air bath, family bath, and the vending machine, which you just saw. I want to take a peek, but I don't want to get in trouble. All right, let's take a quick peek. All right, let's do it real quick. I don't know. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna get busted. Look what you guys are doing. Okay, hold on. I hear people in there. Oh, there's a guy's head. Oh, there's a guy's head. So basically, that's what it is. And uh, <laughs> there's a guy coming out. There's a guy coming out. Did you see him? <laughs> Sorry. I really wanted to show you the bath. <laughs> You're not supposed to walk around the Yokan. This is Mia Sa. Hi. Yeah. I think somebody's in the bath. Oh, yes. Mo haitta yo. Eh, do shiyo. Ma. That will end it. <laughs> Just the like stream finished. Uh, I'm now walking around the inside of the ryokan and I'm in a towel. This <laughs> this is not normal. <laughs> This is not normal. Yeah. That's a shame. But I can tell you what. It's pretty nice inside there. There's a little waterfall that, that makes it really peaceful. That water is also onsen. And there's a jacuzzi on the left side. And on the right side, there's another pool, another bath. And they're around it are lined with showers. So people who are staying here, you don't... I, in fact, I don't even think the rooms have showers. Some rooms might do, but most people will come to the baths to take a shower, and then they'll, they'll hop into the big, big hot bath, get into the yukata, the robes, and then go to lunch or go to dinner or go to breakfast. And you know what? This is weird to be standing in the, in the lounge, the lobby of a ryokan, na half naked and dripping. So I'm going to have to end it. <laughs> so that, that, that's, that's the ryokan. The bath outside where I was is is straight through those doors and here's the men's and the women's and on the other side that's where the outside uh, konyoku co-ed bath is and that was a pretty cool experience but for the next week or so I'm gonna be going around all over Fukushima looking at different onsen different baths different rooms different lots of food it's gonna be an amazing tour 13 places there's no stopping it's going on from the sea all the way to the mountains this is gonna be an amazing adventure and we're gonna be streaming it live so definitely um, subscribe and hit the notification buttons I'll try to share all of this on Facebook so you can get an advance notice of where I'm gonna when I'm gonna be streaming usually around this time when people aren't in the onsen but we kind of ran up against the, the, the deadline. There's only a little bit of time when you can act. <laughs> Look, you just you put your head right there at the right time. <laughs> There's just a little bit of time. <laughs> There's just a little bit of time when you have a permission to film. And I ran up against it hard because I'm also making a video for the main channel. Um, uh, one in 4K that, that kind of highlights the attractions of this place. What are you going to do? So I'm glad I could share this experience with you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, that's about it. So 
thank you for Yumoto Onsen, Yumoto Onsen here in Iwaki, Fukushima. I will see you at the next place. I'll be streaming all the time, all the time. All right, bye everybody.